Good evening, YouTube. Further 73 here with a sample video response for my 100 plus subs contest. And it's come to my attention. You may not be able to post a link down in the comments. So when you do your VR, go ahead and leave me a comment down there. And if you'd like, send me a message private message on YouTube with a link or you can send me a message on Voxer uh, my username on Voxer is further 73 F U T H U R 73 and let me know that way I can find it watch it and get you entered and without further ado I think I'll just go ahead and answer my own questions and the first question was what is your favorite pipe smoking memory and or what got you interested in smoking a pipe? Well, I think the thing that really got me interested initially was my uh, my late grandfather. He was a he was a sailor on a on an aircraft carrier during the Second World War, and saw quite a bit of action in the Pacific Theater. But uh, <laughs> the three things I remember most about him was the little Doctor Graybo pipe hanging out of the corner of his mouth all the time, his little uh, his little flask of medicine that he carried in his hip pocket and uh, and his uh, his navy tattoo on his forearm uh, I remember I remember being just a little guy and uh, thinking that tattoo was the coolest thing ever he kind of thought it was too he was uh, one of the few people that got a tattoo and loved it from the minute he got it until the day he died but uh, yeah that's probably what sparked my interest and uh, favorite pipe smoking uh, memory or experience uh, that's kind of a tough one for me um, I really enjoy I just enjoy going out running around and you know having a pipe when when the mood strikes but I'd say probably one of my favorite memories is uh, sitting up on Annapolis Rock just outside of Hagerstown Maryland along the Appalachian Trail looking at uh, Greenbrier State Park if I remember right there's a nice scenic overlook and uh, you come up the trail and you kind of kind of take a little side trail off to the right well or left depending on whether you're going north or south but uh, anyway you take off this little side trail it's all densely wooded and then all of a sudden the uh, the trees just open up into nothing and there's a you know the big boulder on the side of the mountain the size of a house with uh, with a nice scenic overlook of the valley below Just sitting there having a pipe watching the, watching the birds of prey soar overhead is probably one of the one of my favorite memories of enjoying a pipe uh, the most unusual pipe that I own is right over here actually I've got I've got two of them one of them not that unusual but it is kind of unusual is this Wally Frank Cavalier and this is uh, you know Wally Frank was an old tobacconist a big mail order company um, they didn't actually manufacture the pipes themselves they they had them made by several different companies but this little guy here you know it's got the, it's got the little removable plug here so you can drain it and the bowl is actually detachable it's just a, a friction fit made in France you know this the the stems all vulcanite but I got this from my father-in-law and it actually belonged to my uh, my wife's grandfather so it's kind of a kind of a neat little unusual pipe but the most unusual pipe I have is the patented new split level jet air pipe and it, it's brand new in the box unsmoked and it's patented so I'll bring this thing out so you can see it it's a really unusual kind of pipe and this is this is the guy right here it looks more like a smoking machine than a pipe but what it is is uh, this was made by a gentleman by the name of Ernie Tiford from Eaton, Ohio, and uh, 
I believe, if memory serves me correct, Ernie was by trade an engineer for Alcoa. And he was also known as a, a tinkerer and kind of a jack of all trades. Um, the way I found out about these pipes initially was uh, a gentleman I used to work for when I was in high school actually uh, grew up in, in the area, knew Ernie, and got all his pipes directly from him. And, and he smoked he smoked one of these. Actually, he had, uh, he had three or four of them that he kept in rotation all the time. His had an apple-shaped bowl, and this one's got sort of a bulldog-shaped bowl. But you can see it's unsmoked, and uh, the stem unscrews here. And it's got uh, sort of a K. Woody-style stinger. Uh, it's... Uh, it's just a single, single hole right in here instead of the, instead of the way the K Woody's set up. But it's uh, it's very reminiscent of their fitment, and it also has a carburetor right here. That's what this guy is. You, you can take it off and you know, the the lights washing it out too much. But anyway, there's a there's sort of a valve in there that that acts as a carburetor to help adjust your draw, and then of course like. The Cavalier, it's, it's got a reservoir down here to catch the moisture with a cap you can, you can drain it out of. The, uh, if you see down there in the bottom of the bowl, it's got a, a screw fitment that it's basically just a hollow screw that screws down here under this aluminum part here. But this is brand new and unsmoked. Strangest looking pipe I've ever seen. But uh, I, I picked this up from eBay. Ernie Tiford passed away, I don't know, I think maybe sometime in the last couple of years. And uh, his family had 30 or 40 of these left and was selling them on eBay. And when I when I stumbled across them, I thought, you know what, I've got to have one of those. It's, it, it reminds me of my teenage years and my first job. The guy that I worked for was really a good friend you know I still keep in touch sometimes even to this day 25 years later so anyway that's my most unusual pipe it's kind of an oddity like I say it's unsmoked it'll probably remain unsmoked but uh, inside the little pamphlet there's a there's a picture of Ernie Tiford smoking his invention and a, a cutaway diagram of the in, inner workings and an explanation of the pipe and uh, you can see here the original price, handwritten price tag was $35. I don't remember what I paid for it, probably right around that. Uh, I believe they had them at a, at a buy it now price. But uh, you know, there's, there's Ernie's information there from Eaton, Ohio. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my most unusual pipe and kind of an oddity in my collection. That's also... It's also got some memories. So, anyway, that's that. And uh, not pipe-related hobby. You know, I want to know a hobby of of yours that's not pipe-related. And I have. I've got too many hobbies. I like uh, I like firearms. I'm a I'm kind of a gun nut. Not really a hunter. I just like just like guns. You know, I like to plink with the kids. And I like to shoot. Play a little guitar. Uh, I've got a got a nice little Martin that I picked up a few years ago that I beat on once in a while, and I also like to comb the antique shops for vintage hats. Uh, I've got a small collection of vintage hats, and it's kind of an odd thing, and I don't usually wear them very often. But I don't know. There's something about an old fedora or a, a top hat or a a bowler, you know, the derby, and some, just something about those old hats, just, I don't know. It compels me to grab my wallet and walk out of the store with them when I come across one that, that suits my fancy. And uh, the last question was, what's your favorite part about the YouTube pipe community? For me, it's the sense of community. You wouldn't think that sitting in a room by yourself, in front of a camera, talking to nobody but the camera, yourself, and the walls, and the old hound over there on the floor, that uh, there would be a sense of community, but there really is. You know, I, I really enjoy 
when I get comments about my videos. Uh, you know, people people leave me comments and you know comments about the pipes that I've made or just the content of the video. Uh, the interaction is nice. Uh, Eddie Gray, Haunted Tank seventy five, made mention in one of his videos here a while back that that the YouTube pipe community kind of took the place of the old uh, the old social network that that people used to have. And I think he's I think he's kind of on to something there, and that's what I like about it is the sense of community. Uh, back in September, I went to the Southern Pride Pipe Show down there in Nashville, and uh, I heard about it on YouTube through uh, I think it's either Joe Case or Jason Dagner, one of the two had been talking about it. And I thought, well, you know, I think I'll just check that out. And uh, Joe had uh, had made some pipes for the show, and I was determined to get that Dagner Slayer, which I, I succeeded in. And uh, anyway, I walked into the into the Ale Emporium or whatever it was that, that night before the show, and walking around, and there's all these people I'd seen on YouTube, and, you know, that I'd, that I'd made comments on their videos, and I've met a lot of people, and, you know, it was like, uh, it was like we'd known each other for a while, and we'd never met before which is really cool, you know, I've met Jason and Elaine and Jay, and, you know, we've, we've traded messages back and forth since then, uh, Joe Case, Rick Farah, met those guys, great guys, uh, that, that's what I like about it, is, uh, you know, just the sense of community, and it's something that you don't find in a lot of, you know, in a lot of other hobbies, you know, I, uh, I used to race bicycles, and, uh, you know, I was big into cycling a few years back, and there, it was a lot of fun, and it was a nice hobby, but the community just wasn't there. Everybody was kind of kind of cold, uh, you know, competitive, and, uh, you know, it wasn't really a, it wasn't really a community type feel like you get with, uh, with the guys, guys and gals here on YouTube. So that's what I like about it is uh, it's a sense of community and you know trading messages back and forth and, and chatting with folks. So anyway, I see that I have uh, gone longer than I had anticipated again, but uh, thought I'd do this quick VR to myself, give you guys an idea of what I'm looking for, and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's video responses for the contest. Oh, one other thing, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to drag up here. I said earlier on that on my previous video that uh, that I was going to work on on the uh, grand prize contest pipe here, and I did. I I got up there and I I got the stem made for it. And you can see, I still haven't uh, still haven't stained the pipe, but I've got just a little more finished work to do on this stem. I need to open the draw up a little bit more, and then it's going to get a nice. Uh, Nice slight bend in it here, and I'm going to give this pipe a, a nice coat of stain. Whoops! <laughs> pipe down! But anyway, I'm going to give it a nice coat of stain, polish it up, and uh, it'll be ready for the lucky winner a week from uh, a week from tomorrow. So, you know, I, I say a week from tomorrow. I probably ought to just verify the date for you right here. Let's see. Electronics are awesome. I've got my tablet down here. Pull up the calendar. Today is January the 10th. And I said I'd run it till next Sunday. So, Sunday, January 18th, midnight, Eastern Standard Time. The contest will close. And we will Monday draw the lucky winner for this pipe. So, I'm going to cut it off right there, say thanks for watching, thanks for your response, thanks for the community, and I look forward to seeing your video responses. Have a good one, YouTube. I'm out.